What is going on fam? Thank you very much for tuning in. Today we're going to be talking about what mixed mania feels like. Looking back in retrospect, the first time that I can cognizantly talk about what mixed mania feels like for those of you who already know, I'm diagnosed bipolar 1 with mixed mania and psychotic features. Now, of course, manic and depressed episodes are dependent just on my mood. But if I have to look back, the one time that I remember this past November and December where I really was mixed manic, I want to talk a little bit about what it really feels like. For those of you who are undiagnosed bipolar and you're pushing it off and all this stuff, or maybe some of you who go through mixed manic episodes, what exactly have you done to cope with it? And two, how do you know when enough is enough? Well, with mixed mania, the easiest way that I can describe what it feels like, because I don't ever want to show somebody on YouTube, hey, this is a mixed manic episode. I'm, I'm not like that. I'm not that kind of content creator. I am not an influencer. I don't even portray myself as being an influencer. I do my best to ensure that my medication and my lifestyle choices are correct because I have goals that I want to achieve in life. So if I have to look back in retrospect, it feels like and I've never done this before, like what I'm about to explain. It feels like you snorted cocaine and Xanax at the same time. I've taken Xanax before and I don't like the feeling because I don't like the feeling of being unproductive and slumped like a zombie. I don't, I don't like that. I want to be a productive member to society. So imagine you get that low mood feeling because you're like chilling, whatever you want to call it. The same way if you're doing an Ambien or, or an Ativan for sleep, you get that low mood feeling. But imagine that it's depression, straight depression where you feel hopeless, you feel worthless, you feel that you are up to no good and you have this low mood. It's hard for you to get out of bed because I remember waking up and I'm contemplating, am I even good or have I, am I even worth staying? And, and then that low mood just drives so much of suicidal thoughts and ideation. I did have suicidal thoughts and ideation in November, December. And I, that's given I was on a Fexor, an SNRI, an antidepressant, a very strong one. And even that wasn't helping because it induced mixed mania because it didn't do what it was supposed to do. The way I can describe it is you get that low Xanax mood. For me specifically, it was having trouble to get out of bed. I lost pleasure in everyday activities. I was unfocused and I did have chronic thoughts of suicidality, but I never acted on it. I never made a plan. It was never my intention because optimistically I had already had an evaluation done. I was already getting looking to get the mental health treatment I need. I just, in my opinion, needed to hold on a little bit longer to get the answers I was looking for. On the flip side, the mania that I was experiencing was with Effexor being the primary factor for inducing more mania or hypomania. I had delusions. I essentially, the place that I worked for, thought that they were trying to conspire against me and push me out because I felt that I couldn't keep up. So essentially, because in, with the mania, I had the racing thoughts, irritability, agitation. I had very disorganized speech because I could not keep up with the flight of ideas. And whenever somebody asked me something, I was constantly forgetting to do something, but it wasn't because it, w it was ADHD. It was because I was going through full-blown mania. On top of that, with those delusions that I thought people in the office were trying to push me out, I also thought that I also started suffering from auditory hallucinations, so essentially voices in my head questioning me. They're, they're plotting against you. Who? What are you doing? What do you think you're doing? You're not supposed to be doing that. So that really didn't help that situation. So when I say that it feels like you, you snorted cocaine, I've never snorted cocaine, but 
with that feeling, for those of you who have done it, the feeling like you're on top of the world, imagine you snorted cocaine, you're on top of the world, but you have this underlying mood of depression. So the mania, flight of ideas, inflated self-esteem, grandiosity, racing thoughts, irritability, agitation. I felt like I had to keep doing something and I couldn't sleep. So I was maybe getting anywhere from three to five hours of sleep per night and it gradually got worse and worse as days to come. That is my take on mixed mania for what that feels like. And if you're going through this, if you feel depressed, anxious, and very irritable and agitated, I highly recommend that you seek out the mental health help you need before it's too late. I don't want you to be in the same situation I did where you're having voices in your head or these delusions that people are flooding against you and all this stuff. Especially when it gets to the point where you start contemplating suicide, that is the whole purpose of why I advocate for mental health. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, if you have any particular experiences with mixed mania, or you know somebody who did, leave it down below. Getting your feedback is really important for me because I want to ensure that we are all on the same page, we're in this together, and your life does matter. Make sure you hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I am now on Pinterest, Tumblr, LinkedIn, and TikTok. Until next time, guys, stay tuned. Take care.